Have you ever crave real banga soup? Guys, my husband is a lover of banga soup. He loves banga. When you make banga soup, you can use it to eat rice, beans. You can use it to eat anything. But one of the things that I do not like is this canned banga. I don't know what banga. I don't know what to call it. This banga is not, as far as I'm concerned, anything inside tin. Apart from the tomatoes here, even the tomatoes here, I we use it once in a while. Very once in a while, I buy some and keep at home just in case I don't have strength to go to the market to go buy fresh one. So, when we traveled home two months ago, I decided that I was going to bring banga. Okay, so this was what I did. I wasn't the one who prepared this. My, my husband brother's wife helped me to prepare this. So what I wanted was one paint of banga. They would just pound it, remove the seed. Then I will wrap the rest. Let me show you. This was how I brought it from Nigeria. Like this. So when I came back, I just threw it inside the freezer. I brought it out in place today. And uh, I just want to unwrap it to show you that. Okay, this is why I wrapped it. I, wrap, I put it inside. Let's unwrap the phone. No long story. The first nylon. This nylon is written, is this nylon is this type of nylon that comes in a roll. When you use it to wrap anything, that thing is safe, very very safe. So the reason why I did this is because if I had extracted the juice of this banga, it would have been like ten liters or five liters, and I don't have that kind of luggage. We have to pay for extra twenty three kg when I was coming back. So I put it like this, and this is another Ziploc bag. And then this is another nylon. And this is the banda. Look at it. Mm. Can perceive the aroma this is it all what we did was to pound it remove the seed after removing the seed we just put it inside it's not a lot this is lot, just something that will last us like two times okay so it was not a lot uh and this is a ziplock bag so all you, i needed was to put inside this ziplock bag and before like two hours or three hours before we traveled i just added it inside the freezer so kind of strong you know now so what i want to do now is to extract the oil the juice guys i don't have hand glove anymore in this house i don't know how i'm going to extract this with my hand first of all guys do not use plastic rubber rubber bowl to extract banga we don't do it so you use metal so i'm going to be using this pot to extract it to add the whole of the banga inside or should i just add the one that i am going to use what i wanted to do today is actually you know just extract everything and add it inside this and then store it inside the fridge but the way i'm looking at it is like, like i will change my mind i will just divide it into two once i divide it into two i want to use now going to seal it back i won't extract everything one i don't even have hand glove this is what we have i'm going to add lukewarm water not hot you have to add warm water the one that you can that your hand can press not the one that you will not be able to put your hand inside so guys normally we will add it the sauce or the juice whatever it is that you guys call it we'll add it directly into the pot that we are going to use in cooking the soup so let's go ahead and extract it i was really
Of the, the this nothing, not none of it will waste. I will show you later what this is used for in my village and what this is also used for. I'll show you later. <laughs> 